we're going to take a look at blend modes. And what blend modes do is they take the pixels from one layer and they blend them with the layer that is below. And if we take a look at this image, we've got blend applied, that's at the top, and we got the normal flower, the normal text, and then we've got a base. Now, blend applied is the one that we're going to change, and that is going to affect the middle flower and the right flower. The normal flower and normal text are way over here on the left. They are not below the middle or the right flower. So when we apply blend modes, the normal flower and the normal text will not be affected. What our blend applied layer is going to interact with is the base, because the base is what is below it. So we're going to take a look at these blend modes, and we'll start with dissolve. And for you to see this, I'm going to have to zoom in a little bit. But basically, this is what dissolve does. It makes it look a little bit um, pixelated, just a random placement of pixels. The next blend modes that we're going to look at, we're going to look at this entire group. All of the blend modes in this group are going to darken the flowers. So first we're picking darken. And basically it looks at the color in the base, and it looks in, at the color in the blend, and it picks the darker color, which is why when we're looking at this little stripe of orange here that's in the base, it pulled that forward, and that's why you can't really pick out the details in that flower anymore, because it picked that darker orange. Whereas that middle flower isn't resting on really dark orange. We've got white and kind of a light orange, and that is why we can still see the details in that flower, because the color that was in the flower was darker than the base, so it just kept that color. Whereas over here, it pulled the darker color up from the base. Multiply always results in a darker color because it multiplies the color information in both the uh, blend and the base. Okay, so it's actually multiplying the base by the blend. If you had an underexposed image, you may want to try doing the multiply blend mode on it. You'd want to duplicate the layer, use the multiply blend, and then if it was too dark, remember you can come up and adjust opacity on that. Hey, color burn. Uh, it increases the contrast. So it looks at the information, color information in the blend and the base. It darkens the base to reflect the blend by increasing contrast. And you can kind of see that. And whether you pick this or not really depends on the colors that are in your blend and the base. The darker the blend color, the greater the effect. Uh, if you blend with white, there really is no change. So if you look over here, Okay, that doesn't look that much different. It's just when we get into the uh, different color that you notice more of a change. Linear burn. Linear burn decreases the brightness. So it's going to darken what is underneath by decreasing the brightness. 
Uh, if you have a photo that's a little bit uh, washed out or maybe the sky and the clouds are a little bit washed out, you can actually use this to darken them. And then we've got darker color. Uh, basically what this one does is it looks at the colors in the blend and the base and it displays the lower color value. So as you can see, uh, when we got into this darker orange, it pulled that forward. That's why you can't see the detail in that right hand flower quite as much. Now we'll take a look at these same blends over in this image uh, because this image is more designed for special effects. So our fireworks are going to be the blend layer and our base is the lily. Okay, so dissolve really doesn't do much here. And it's really hard to even see the random pixels. You can kind of see them off to the side. It's when you get into these other blends that you're going to have some interesting effects. So remember, darken pulls forward the darker color. Multiply multiplies the blend and the base together. We have color burn. That was to increase contrast. Linear burn, decrease brightness. And then we've got darker color where it's pulling forward the, the lower color value. 